Yo, what is up guys? So, Six Samurais actually took first place at an OCG tournament. Now, keep in mind that their tournament pools sometimes are a little bit smaller. However, the most dominant deck is still Spirals. There are still Spiral players in these tournaments. But, let's go ahead and get to the deck profile for this Six Samurai deck that, I don't know, it seems very strange to me. There's so many card choices over here that I'm really questioning. But, the guy did take first place, so congrats to him. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is a OCG deck, so there are cards that uh, we will have to change if you are a TCG player. But, it's kind of interesting to see, you know, what other people run in different areas because... There's a lot of card choices. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, what the heck? Because I felt the same way. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. So, first off, we have two copies of Kageki. We summon him, we summon another Six Samurai. Uh, and then he gets a boost up to 1500, an additional 1500 attack. Next up, we got one Kazaru. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this. Kazaru at one in this? I, I don't know, man. I, I think Kazaru is like one of the best cards that the new Six Samurai's got. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Doji over here. So, uh, this card allows you to uh, send a Six Samurai card from your deck to the graveyard, so you can send some of your other cards to then protect your other cards via the effects of the Shadow Six Samurais. Then we have one copy of Nishi. So, this guy over here, he bounces things back. He's a Compulse on Lakes. Uh, and then next up, we have three copies of Keys on, which in any Six Samurai deck that plays Gateway, it's just straight up free advantage in the game. And then next up, we have one Zanji. This is just used for his attack being 1800, which lets you get extra Keys on's out. And then next up, we have three copies of one of the best cards, which is Fuma over here. So whenever he's destroyed by Battle or card effect, you can just special on a Six Samurai monster from your deck, except for itself. Uh, really, really good, and then obviously he has that effect because he's a Shadow Six Samurai, he can protect the other ones. And then next we have three copies of Genba. <laughs> Dude, this guy going all in with the whole banish mechanic. But anyways, when he's normal summon, you get to target one of your banished Six Samurai monsters and add it back to your hand. And then same thing with the Shadow Six Samurai effect. And then we're running into the hand traps right now. What's crazy is we see you no know, uh, Kagamusha. Uh, I felt like, dude, that's kind of crazy. I thought at least someone would be playing a few of that, maybe some Elders, but no, we have zero. We're running straight into the Hand Traps now. Uh, but anyways, we got three of them. That's Ash, Forehead, and Blossom. So yeah, uh, very expensive card, but it's a good card. <laughs> Next up, we have three copies of Sheen Smoke Signal and Reinforcement Arm, which that's like standard. Uh, there is a card that we will not have a good replacement to, and that is Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, the closest thing that you guys can get to in the TCG for this is going to be Localized Turnade when it finally comes out. A pretty good card, just returns all of the set ones, bounces back. You can go for uh, the Twin Twisters, perhaps, instead. Uh, so you can also kind of get rid of your Six Samurais, maybe banish them later on, and then obviously with Gamba, we'll have that ability to add them back. But uh, yeah, there's not really a great replacement for Feather Duster. Next up, we have three copy of Asceticism of the Six Samurai, so that allows you to just special summon like another one. Uh, just you just gotta look at the attack of the Six Samurai monsters, but for the most part, uh, this can go into this, uh, and also this is actually 200 because it counts the uh, the attack of the Six Samurai. So if there's not like a boosted, uh, if he's not boosted, uh, he becomes he's still 200, so that works well with the whole Fuma thing. And then obviously, if you really want, you can special summon. Uh, Kageki, but uh, this card only gets its effect when it's normal summon, so keep that in mind if you guys are playing uh, with that. Then uh, we got three copies of Pot of Greed, aka Six Samurai United in the deck, and this is what I think separates it from the TCG for the most part. Uh, however, who knows if we will get multiple gateways. I think it's crazy that we got gateway off of the ban list. Who knows, maybe later down the line, December ban list? I don't know. But uh, Gateway of the Six is a really, really key card in making Six Samurai's very, very strong turn one. Uh, and there really isn't a good replacement. I mean, the only other thing you get extra counters on that's like a more viable card is Sheehan's Dojo, but it's it's not even on the same levels of Gateway. Um, however, you guys can still try to mess around with the deck um, without it. It's just, there's really not a good replacement for Gateway. It's too good of a card, uh, but obviously we only get one in the TCG. Next up, this guy is crazy. He's actually playing Compulse. I didn't even think Compulse was a really good card, uh, but this guy, he ran three and he got first place, so obviously he's running the best six Samurai deck. Uh, no, I just, I just don't, don't think Compulse is that strong right now. You guys, comment down below if you think Compulse is actually a viable card, because I just feel like that there's way better options. Heck, I'd rather run Torrential Tribute over it, uh, but I just, I just don't like Compulse. Um, I think that there are much better options if you really want to get a problematic card. Uh, Dark Hole, you can run Regeki. Obviously, Regeki in the TCG, we do still have it, so you guys will be good to go on that. But 
I, I just I think it's crazy to run Compulse. Uh, Vandy Zamter is a really great card. Um, uh, just it, it wins games. We don't really need to talk about that. The whole Solemn lineup, obviously we still have three copies of Strike in the TCG, so that's a pretty easy swap. Just play Triple Strike and then, of course, the One Warning, and you'll have a very similar trap lineup. Obviously, uh, we don't have Vandy's, but uh, you guys can try to just throw in like, another trap card if you wish. Uh, Dimension Barrier has just kind of just gone less hot. Um, I know that that card was quite popular a while back, but there's just like too many options, especially with like Link Summoning in the game. Um, however, there is a, a card that a lot of people are running um oh wait no what is it called oh what is it the struggling battle i thought that that's what it was called uh it's that trap card uh, what did they change the name to it's a trap card where it it banishes um cards you control it, you, banished or is it banished cards you oh evenly matched okay that's the card okay i know i know they changed the name but anyways so uh this card could still be a, a pretty uh popular card i mean it's kind of pricey in the tcg uh but as far as ocg goes it doesn't seem like it was that hot of a card although i was looking for a struggling battle because they actually just released like some of the most popular cards and i don't think evenly match evenly matched uh was like in every deck although it did see some play um, however, I want to say it's still more popular in the TCG, like a lot of TCG players, some people side deck it, some people main deck it, um, but it's still a popular card, it's just not as popular in the OCG as in TCG. I mean, this card's great, I mean, it just, you activate it, and uh, if you go in second and six Samurais, uh, sometimes you can be at a disadvantage. I'd say that's one problem that six Samurais can have, is dealing with a board that is already established, unless you have Gateway, but... That's a condition, that's like a win condition on its own. You activate Gateway, you win in the game. But, um, like I said, there, there's, there's not really a good replacement for Vandy's. <laughs> uh, maybe this if they have like a huge board. But anyways, for the extra deck, we're seeing cards I have not seen in a long time. I haven't seen Ally of Justice Catastrophe in, in so long. When's the last time you guys saw him in an extra deck? But anyways, next up we got two copies of Shin, the Synchro Monster. And then we have the Nothong over here. You get to burn your opponent for 800 points of damage. Good stuff, good stuff. And then we got the one Trishla, one MX Saber Invoker. Then we got the Utopia lineup over here. He decided he had some extra deck room. Um, uh, interesting enough, I, I really still think Naturi Beast is just too good of a card. Obviously, at that point, you got to play uh, Kagamusha, but I. It's such a good, like, win condition. I, I recommend you guys to try it. Maybe if you, uh, you know, obviously you're playing in the TCG and you have real... I, I just think Kagamusha is just such a simple card. Maybe an Elder. I just... The thing is, is that I just think Naturia Beast is so valuable in a game. Like, you can just win off of uh, Naturia Beast. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, we got the Utopia lineup. That's why I was like... At first when I was reading the Utopia lineup, I'm like, wait, you're not playing Naturia Beast? Because... He didn't have too much uh, root wall. I guess he had so much room. He decided to throw an extra the Utopia Ray over here. So we got three of the Utopias here, just so you can activate the effect of the uh, Lightning twice instead of once. And then we have the Shadow of the Six Samurai Shin. It's not a card that I think that is like super necessary. And interestingly enough, there's no uh, no copies of the new Fusion Monster. Although I think most people just don't don't play the new Fusion. I mean, like with Link, someone's like, why why even bother? You know. Uh, there's just much better options if you're using like all those uh, cards. And then we have our classic game stealer sometimes, the Gaga Cowboy. And then we have Castell, and we have Tornado Dragon. They actually got this really fast in the OCG. And then we have the Underclock Taker, and then the Mrs. Radiant for the last card. But uh, anyways, um, here's some other cards I can suggest for you guys. Uh, obviously, if we go to the TCG, we can only play one copy of Maxi. But um, there are other options that I want to give you guys suggestions because obviously, if you're playing this, you'd have to drop. Well, I, I, I for Compulse, I don't think you really need a replacement for this card because uh, I I just don't think Compulse is the strongest card. In fact, is, isn't Book of Moon still at one? Uh, wait, is Book of Moon? I think Book... Wait, wait, what? Uh, wait, is it not Book of Moon? Okay. Uh, yeah, Book of Moon is still at one. I mean, that, that card can be similar in a sense to uh, Compulse, but I, I really don't think we need a replacement for that. But uh, Maxi, definitely. I don't know why he was so crazy. He didn't even decide to play Maxi. Um, you know what I've also seen that was uh, in some builds of Six Samurai when people were playing it is uh, just running Gofu at one. It just helps you with your links and, and obviously that can open up the combos for like Firewall Dragon and stuff. Other things that would give you an additional summon can be really strong in Six Samurais. Um, especially with like gateway being so powerful and on top of that like adding another link monster into the game Obviously you'll have to fix up the uh, extra deck here if you wanted to 
to play Gofu. I believe it's still at one, but it just allows you to have other options uh, for the deck. And then we have uh, our Regeki. Like I said, sometimes it's difficult to deal with established boards. Oh, there's another card I wanted to go over. Um, it's it's not a card that a lot of people know about, but it's a really good card. This is Heroic Champion Gandiva. It requires two for uh, two level four warrior type monsters, which is pretty easy with the uh, keys on over here, and as well as like you can just asceticism right into it. But anyways, once promo level four or lower monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, except during the damage step, you can attach uh, material to destroy all the special summon monsters. Um, so if, if they're like pendulum summoning a bunch of stuff, you just blah 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 them. Really, really good stuff indeed. Uh, I think he's just really good against uh, some of the decks that would start out with like smaller monsters and spirals. But uh, there's a lot of other decks that can just get kind of wrecked by this. I think it's a great card and it's really easy to make in this deck. Heck, you can throw Photon Thrasher in there. <laughs> no, but um, another card I really wanted to recommend, honestly, is one for one. I, I, I think it's crazy he's not playing it because it goes straight into Fuma and then you can get rid of a card, which can then later uh, be banished so you can actually add it uh, back with uh, effect of Genba. But uh, anyways, there's also uh, the, the newer uh, Shadow Six Summer, the um, uh, with, uh, uh, Mizan? Uh, Shadow... Okay, hold on, there's another... Oh, Shadow Six Samurai? Is it Shadow of the Six Samurai? Oh, it's Shadow... S oh, it's Secret. Is that what they're calling it? Secrets? They, they changed the name to Secret... S Are you serious? I thought they were all called Shadows. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, new information to me. Uh, but anyways, the uh, Hatsume, that was the card. You, you uh, banish two Six Samurai monsters from your graveyard. Then you get to target a 6 summon monster in your uh, graveyard, except for itself in Special Summon. So, this will help you with extra fuel for your stuff, your, your, your plays. If you wanted to play Hatsume, I, I never really liked her, but he, he decided to go with three Gembas. I mean, this guy is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, that's the first place deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this list, because I'm super surprised that this got first place. I know, again, the OCG decks are, or the tournaments are a little bit smaller sometimes, but guys, they are still playing in Spiral. Spirals are still the most popular deck in uh, OCG right now, but it's cool to see Six Samurais actually took first place at a tournament. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, slap a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh decks or deck profiles.